Oh, honey, have you ever dressed up your little wiener? Oh, all the time. What your son did wasn't that bad. What you did made it 95 times worse. Who's the farm? Oh, it was a horse. That was a horse. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro, sweetheart. Today we're gonna be watching some disasters, but disasters that happened on live television. Buckle up. I like it. Yeah. yeah. A Boise, Idaho woman is considered a medical miracle. Laura Esterman was struck by lightning nearly a month ago and she was considered officially dead. Thankfully, CPR from her mom revived her heart, but she laid in a coma for two weeks mm -hmm. and then she defied all odds and woke up. Well, obviously, there was a problem with that tape. She doesn't really sound like that. She doesn't remember the accident, but the evidence is clear. I am so sorry. How do you sorry. not? Laura's learning to walk again after the lightning burned her legs. And we'll have more on that story and hopefully get that tape fixed for you. That's effed up. Look what it did to her. He goes, that's not how she really sounds. <laughs> It's That's just so funny up. that it was congruent with a lightning strike. I know, right? You have like short circuiting someone. Oh, God bless her. Glad she survived, but that was Whoops. classic. Now, we all have dogs. Have you ever dressed your dog up? I honestly have not. Well, you got a big dog. That's probably why. She's larger. Yeah. Mark has a little wiener. Have you ever dressed the wiener up? Yeah. <laughs> he can't. The ice can't. goes under the desk. He can't. Have you, you just ever set him up for failure? Have you ever dressed the wiener up? Have she you had. Dressed up your little wiener. She had to know what she was oh, doing, Oh, honey, have right? you ever dressed up your little wiener? Oh, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got cute little outfits. Yeah. I love, I love news, news fails, dude. Sports with Pat Murphy. A great news regarding Bill's tight end, Kevin Everett. He moved his arms and legs today. And doctors now believe that's the wrong video, by the way. <laughs> Come on. I was like, wait, what? So they're talking about a dude who had a bad injury and like was possibly like, paralyzed. feeling. That's completely, that's the wrong video. You have to wonder if that was a mistake or there's just like a real, an intern right, getting ready to leave or something. Just uh, wanted to drop a bomb on him. The time I shouldn't be able to slip through the cracks, but. Yeah, but the fact that he moved his arms and legs to the guy's there to see he's in the wheelchair. I love these. A cannon, a cannon. Oh boy. Oh, what do you do, what do you do? Oh no, there's no racing is the thing. Oh, that's amazing. Um, let's see. That's so good. Oh, it just got so much work. Oh gosh. Oh, that and pubes to it. A cannon, a cannon. F***ing balls. Yeah, yeah. And pubes. Whoever picked cannon knew they were gonna draw Oh man, she was kind of on the right track. You just would need like a bigger wheel maybe with some spokes in it or like a revolutionary war cannon. I'm not gonna get too far into it, but clearly she's had some experience drawing the D and the B. She came asked her and her supporters to say a prayer for Gina Roberson, who remains <laughs> hospitalized for a stress-related illness. Kim says sure. her and Gina will remain friends and work just together in this it's Harrisburg good. community. Working nice. for you tonight in Harrisburg, Dave Marcheski, ABC. <laughs> Cheers to the camera. That caught me off track. That's so funny. Kitty Flanagan. Now, Kitty, Kitty, should I be worried about my job? Well, uh, you keep calling me Clitty, <laughs> should you? <laughs> Clitty Flanagan. I kind of missed it the first time he said it. I didn't know until yeah. she clarified. Clitty Flanagan, the legend of the news station. I think you've got to. What? <laughs> I'm on f off. I'm on live telly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come out of it! Get out of my office! I want to take hell! Fuck you, little Come on. Sorry. Bro. Was that like me trying to talk on the phone to the doctor's office yesterday when Jackson came oh over my to God. me and I'm like, yes. get away from me. And I, I went like this, I'm like, get away from me. And he, mom, push me! He was I'm so like, mad. oh, great. Yeah, he was so mad. I just love that guy's visceral reaction was just to drop every swear in the book. Yeah. For three seconds. You're on live television. You what your son did wasn't that bad. What you did made it 95 times worse. Come on. They love what you did. So are they watching themselves in the in the monitor? And then Jeez. They, they had to plan that. They had to plan. Oh that, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know just what our movement's all about. But it's more than just Gen Z's falling for conspiracy theories. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Well, we hope you're okay. Why don't we give you some time to collect yourself? If you need help, let us know in the control room there. I feel like everyone kind of goes into these things, especially with the new age kind of like shoot from home interviews. Yep. Would like this idea that I could be a viral clip, right? If I did yeah. something silly. Oh, and this is, I've heard of this. And he's talking about the birds aren't real thing. Yeah, I think this whole thing was a troll on the news station. The whole thing is? Yeah, because this guy was pretending to be, have you all heard of the whole thing that like pigeons are a government psyop? Oh They're my like, God, no. And I can't actually handle that. Yeah, so it literally got to a point where this guy started this thing that birds aren't real. And mm. I think it was just to expose how pathetic news stations are for like taking everything at face value. Conspiracy theories worldwide. <laughs> Honestly, if you interview a dude that thinks birds aren't real, you're, you're asking for trouble, quite frankly. I don't remember the specifics of the situation, but sure. there was a blip in time where I remember there was this thing that pigeons were like government spies, basically, like little mechanical pigeons. I'll tell you what, the seagulls at the beach are real. Oh, yeah. That's like sandwiches. I'm damn sure. There ain't no robot because those things will eat your entire PB&J in no one problem. swallow. Yeah. That led to Chris Wood's death. The f is that? I'm dying in this country up town. <laughs> Sorry. Flying in my mouth. The I can't see pollen. Let's get the out of this country, mother. That guy had had enough, dude. Done. <laughs> the bug in the mouth was the absolute <laughs> last straw. This is broke the camel's back. Dude. That was so funny. I certainly hope that wasn't live. Like, I certainly hope it was. It looked, yeah, it looked like it was. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Your hands uh, pulling off a little bit of a bit earlier. This is from earlier on the show. <laughs> Spider Man jumps into frame. Sarah falls, thinking she's going to be caught. And <laughs> Come on. Spider Man arrested. Sarah, you are not only oh. tough, you are a very, very forgiving person. How is. <laughs> Dude, absolutely blew his only job. How do you miscommunicate that? Unless she was improvising. Right. In which case, I don't know, tough to get that peripheral vision out of the Spider-Man suit. The Spidey senses should have been tingling. Yeah, I guess the, that suit didn't come with the Spidey senses, unfortunately. Mm. He bought the cheap version. The Spirit Halloween one? Yeah, I got the Spirit Halloween Spider one. The slick conditions no match for cars and pedestrians. Ooh! <laughs> the slick conditions no match Just as they cut the camera. Yeah. Either that or they did that dude dirty. That was awesome. I love a good ice fall. I could watch compilations of people falling on ice yeah. all day. Human actions are destroying habitats, decimating our entire ecosystem and disrupting the circle of life. Oh yeah. And with the rise in drought cases, it is up to us to be guardians of our own natural world, <laughs> save our wild species, and provide a home. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Me Remember the one we watched recently where the oh, elephant trunk slapped the girl in the face and like knocked her out? No schlong, just hanging over his head. Oh, the elephant that yeah, yeah. knocked that girl's phone out of her hand and right in the face? Elephants rule. They're so cool and huge. Oh. Would you ever let an elephant rub your face like that? What do you think? I don't know. No. I think like, I would guess no, but maybe that's just that one weird thing you'd be cool with. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Would you ride an elephant? Wait, I've ridden an elephant before. That's definitely a thing you can do at like a circus. No, you know what they did not that long ago? Wasn't it, uh, what was that place with the little bonfire? We took Jackson and we, all the families. It was the farm. Oh, it was a horse. That was a horse. <laughs> There's an elephant on a local farm. Oh, that was Awful. So back to school, sh school shopping. The prices are yeah. Yikes, dude. That's gonna be a yikes for me, dog. That's a Boston one. Yeah, I was gonna say I recognize her. New Center Five. That's us. Back to school, shoot, shoot, shopping. Wild. Timely. She's, she's probably just so used to saying that at this point. Happened again. Another sign oh, language interpreter this. accused of signing total gibberish. This time, it was at the police news conference announcing an arrest in the Tampa serial killings. We will be charging four counts of first-degree murder. Standing off to the side, apparently translating every word, this woman. We received over 5,000 tips in this case. But it turns out, much of what she was signing was nonsense. <laughs> she waved her arms around like she was singing Jingle Bells. That one outraged sign language expert. The woman, <laughs> identified as Derlin Roberts, has a string of arrests for fraud. What? So how did she come to be translating at last week's high profile police news conference? I just didn't ask enough questions. <laughs> Bro, she weaseled her way into be the signer of one of those things. Wow. With no skill.
skill set and how to actually use sign language. Do you have to get like certified or Dude, something? Dude, uh, the guy who hired her was like, I guess I just didn't ask her questions. Like, do you know like, sign translators language? Translators usually need do you some have sort of a certification. History of fraud by any chance? I would think <laughs> if you're going to do a job that's filled at a police precinct, like you're working at a police station, there would always be a background check. There would be a background check. That is wild. That is so funny. Good for her. She got to that far where she was literally on stage. I mean, the poor people on a news who conference. were relying on that though and watching the, her sing Jingle Bells. Honestly, if I was deaf watching that, I'd be dying laughing. <laughs> She's singing Jingle Bells up there while they're talking about a serial killer. I shouldn't say that. I, I've never been deaf, so I don't know what that's like. But that being said, I feel like it could be a lot worse. That's just funny. Good for her. I wonder like, what's the charge? It's just another fraud charge, I guess, right? She had like five mugshots up there. She must just be like a serial pretend you're someone you're not and try to get yeah. weasel your way into things. What a life. Con artist. Yeah, con artist. That's what I'm talking about. This next story is so tragic, I cannot be laughing. Right. <laughs> Investigators believe a bomb caused the explosion on a plane which has just taken off from the Somali capital of Mogadishu. The blast blew a hole in the side of the plane and one of the 74 passengers on board was sucked out. <laughs> just terrible. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at that. Is this that plane that we saw in the last video? Maybe it is this one. Maybe it's a different one passenger reporter. was sucked out. Yeah, hold on. But she's dying laughing. Hold I on. know. As the plane was at relatively low altitude, there was no violent decompression and it held together. No one has no responsibility. <laughs> Today could be the day I lose my job. <laughs> So when you just stop though, like, why are you trying to get the words you out? Can, you can't, dude. You're you gotta, on live TV. They, they gotta can keep pay that to tight. Else. They gotta keep that tight. You're the one that has to read that script. The teleprompter's up. You're up. You gotta get it together, man. We don't have context of what the previous story was. Sure. But it would be tough to go from like a super funny story into a really tragic one. That would be bad production, I would think. Right. In that case. Monica, I am a bean here. Bay, my next gang over here. Uh oh. I oh. Sh Okay. What did you think you, that, that you could tell that was like a melting lake? I barely trust putting a car on a frozen lake anyways. We, I hardly trust putting my body on ice skates shit. on a frozen lake. <laughs> like Lake Winnipesaukee, we've seen sometimes when that freezes, people will drive their trucks out and set up uh, their little huts for ice fishing and sure. stay out there. But when you have like, you know, two feet of ice, sure. That clearly did not have the integrity to have a car on it. Slight chance of some particip participation? Participate? Nope. Per, per it's rain. It's going to bring a possibility of some rain that will be moving into our area. Woof, that would hurt me. I'm sorry, you're a meteorologist and you can't say precipitation. I mean, sometimes these meteorologists don't get hired for their brains, okay? They get hired... For their long legs? For their legs, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Like, how do I say this? Though? I sound like a scumbag. <laughs> okay, thank you. you. I like the recovery right into the rain. Rain. It's going to rain, maybe. Why do we call it precipitation, anyways? Just call it rain. Well, because precipitation it's is general, more of a general it's term. It's a general term, yes. Could be snow, could be rain, could be thunder. Be I mean, hail, hail yeah, thunder. thunder. Relax. Oh, okay. It's precipitating. It's rain. Thunder. Rain. It's rain. Listen, I also didn't get hired for my you brains. You also got hit by a lightning bolt. I Ready? Got, go. I got Joel. hired for my long legs. <laughs> <laughs> you got hit by a lightning bolt. Go. <laughs> I am sorry, that is not what she actually sounds like. <laughs> this gym is a home run. So you can say Come on. this gym is a grand slam. But this gym is nothing but net. It's a hole in one. <laughs> We're gonna need a little more practice on that. I'm just gonna have to cut in her getting a swish. So you can say that this gem is a grand slam. Where else but Comic Con can you stand at the feet of a 20 foot tall transformer named Optimus Prime? Or see a grown man dressed as Kung Fu Panda? Ooh. <laughs> She did him dirty. That's what? funny because it's. Am I supposed to understand that? Yes, because that's Raiden, not Kung Fu Panda. That's so funny. So Raiden's like a Mortal Kombat character, very famously. <laughs> and she just said Kung Fu Panda because he's fat and the, uh, the hats look the same. Poor bastard. Man's just there trying to be a Mortal Kombat enthusiast and gets called Kung Fu Panda. All of his friends are just going to ruthlessly make fun of him for eternity. This week, Australia has been celebrating 90 years of the ABC, which you'd think oh. is more than enough time for them to perfect their camera work. Hello. <laughs> 
we're here this Friday morning. You are watching News Breakfast, and it is good to have. You. <laughs> Should we kneel down, Lisa? It's <laughs> <laughs> just like a running game. Camera's in OnlyFans mode. Just <laughs> 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 hanging down the crotch. <laughs> better than this esports tournament this week. He looks focused and he looks chilled. So far, nobody's really gave him a true fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see the look at the bloopers from the cameraman. <laughs> I love oh, that. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. So that wasn't at the same time. I see. Plus, you know I love the tuba. It's one of my favorite instruments. Listen to that. Won't let that go, man. Bro, come on. He lost the mic. He lost his mic down the. Down also, don't grabbing at another man's tuba. Excuse you. <laughs> Are you come me? on, dude. That's not a tuba, by the way. Oh, what is it? It's a sousaphone. Oh, it's, it's sousaphone. really in there, dude. <laughs> Did he get it out? It's oh, a what? It's stuck in the back. Sousaphone. No. Uh oh, boy, you're gonna get yelled at. He's gonna have to buy that. Dude, <laughs> come <laughs> on. Oh, oh there it is. Yay! Oh, Wow. I'm just more impressed with that he thought it was going to sound good when he held it up to the fucking, right, right. the sound hole of the sousaphone. Let's hear that one more time. <laughs> Hard, vibrating, rattling. Oh my God, I love it. Love a good live fail always makes my day. And that's exactly why I record these videos not live because I can edit them heavily to make myself and my wife look good. I'm the one that needs most of the help though. Oh, please. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.